English opening, Anglo-Indian, Anglo-Grunfeld defense, 3.CXD5 NXD5 4.NF3G6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black pounced on their opportunities in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nf6, which advances the knight into the center. c4 has control over the crucial d5 square. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. Backs off. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. That's good. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. This protects a weak piece by trapping one of its assailants. It is ideal. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is excellent. This threatens to kick a knight. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a knight. It is excellent. This threatens to win a knight. It is a miss. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. That's good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. This overlooks a better way to connect rooks. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This passes up the chance of advance a past pawn through promotion. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores a safer approach to moving a queen. It is incorrect. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. 
it is ideal. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is good. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. This ignores a better way to evade the check from the opposing queen. This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is a great move. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This misses a better way to move a queen to safety. It is a mistake. There was just one smart move to be made. It falls flat. Very precise. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This is the only good move. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is a great move. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Backs off. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This threatens to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to use a rook to support a passed pawn. It is a mistake. This steps away from the checking knight. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black pounced on their opportunities in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.